it is the community day wrap up that we get every year in pokemon go and it's half past two i got a little bit carried away with editing uh, the christmas episode of incense podcast and i really need to get out and get these today we are going to be getting half of this year's pokemon that have spawned for community days and then tomorrow we'll be getting the other half so we're going to catch at least one of each of these pokemon so first up we have got this little bad boy chest bin which was the first community day of this year january's community day was chest bin and it's it works out nice that this is the first one we catch of this community weekend right okay so golden raspberry there is no brown ball so we're just going to stick with the blue great ball and hope and hope that is enough and now this one is a bit of a throw oh we got the excellent that's what we're talking about first one two three first shiny of this december 2023 community day wrap up is a chess bin it is two stars it's not particularly great but oh actually we've got a couple more here okay so let's work through the starters so we've got fennec in that one isn't shiny there's another fennec in there that one isn't shiny so uh froki could you shine no nope. and we also have the slowpoke as well we've got both versions of course that galarian version gorgeous gorgeous sort of golden color when it shined and there is nothing shiny from that but we've got some research for this community day professor willow is going through that and what do we need to do okay so it's four stages it looks quite simple powerful pokemon 10 times catch 10 pokemon featured during community day 2023 and make five nice throws there is also some today research somewhere there we go, community day timed research, one of six, power up Pokemon seven times, catch five different species of Pokemon and catch 15 Pokemon feature join 2023 community days and that is a six page one. We've also got some King's Rocks there with the December community day evolution extravaganza, wow that is a tongue twister. So we will get cracking, just want to say thank you very much to Farside 2 for gifting me the community weekend ticket, that means an awful lot, thank you so much. And also Disney Mom Rachel and Hermes Ninja for gifting me the December holiday winter event tickets as well. Thank you to you two as well, it means an awful lot. Okay right, we have more Mons to catch for this community day weekend so just like that we've got the Noibat, which was the second community day of this year if i remember correctly i believe this one was february so we're not counting the classics in here but Noibat second shiny today let's just get this one caught and we can move on so We've got the chest spin, we've got the Noibat, so there we go. It's dead, but we don't care. What else can we check? We actually do have Swine which was one of the classics this year, as was Charmander. Not really going to focus on those too much. We're just going to focus on the new Mons that were out in 2023. So March brought us this bad boy, the Slowpoke Community Day. And I'm not even going to bother burying this one because the chances of it running are slim. But it also saw the introduction of the Galarian form of Slowpoke, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous shiny. So there we go, Slowpoke done and ticked off. So looking at Pokemon Go Live, we have already got the Chespin, the Noibat, and the Slowpoke. We need the Galarian Slowpoke, Togetic, and Fennekin from the boosted spawns today. And then tomorrow, part two on the Sunday, we've got Poliwag, Wooper, Paldean, Wooper, Timber, Axu, Froakie, and Grubbin. They are spawning today, but they're not boosted. And the classic Mons that we've had this year will be spawning for the last 10 minutes of each hour, pretty much like last year. Charmander, Squirtle, Mareep, Swinub, and Larvitar. So if we get any of those, it will be a bonus but we're going for those six today. So barely even had to move before we got the Fennec in, which was May's community day. And again, let's just go Savage, it's a starter. Let's just hope this one doesn't run because I want to get these ticked off as quickly as possible. There we go. We've got the Fennec in as well, which was May, I want to say May's starter. Done, dusted, one star. Oh, there's a Togetic there. Could that be shiny? No. Alrighty then, so we have got page one of the research done. We'll claim all of our goodies, which is going to reward us with a thousand Stardust, a Unova Stone, 
Anderson O Stone and page two means we need to transfer 10 catch 15 Pokemon featured during 2023 communities and evolve three which give us an incense of Poffin and another thousand dust however we have scroll down waterfall there we go the timed research page one of six we've got some encounters here so let's have a look first one hop it Ooh. Second Mon encounter is a little bit better. That was that's a chest pin. And lastly but not leastly from that one is a Starly. But that's not all. We get an end of page encounter with a Noibat. So with the Noibat bag, let's just have a quick look. Are you any good? You're really not. Okay, so we've actually got, these are the two that we need as shiny, the Galarian Slowpoke. These are the last two we really need. And the Togetic, they're not shiny anymore though. There is a Oh, uh, Axu, no. And yeah, we've got one of each of the others. So let's just have a quick look. Page two. Page two, transfer 10. Catch five different species and power up Pokemon seven times. All right, so we've got a ton of Togetic here. Hopefully one of these bad boys will be shiny. And we've really not moved that far at all today. Nothing so far from the first three. Last one, uh, no. Okay, and oh, we've got some Galarian Slowpoke. That one's not shiny. How about you? Oh, how about you? Oh, there we go. Okay, Galarian Slowpoke, shiny. So that now means that we just need the Togetic to get the six that are spawning today, which is good news because it's only quarter past three and already the sun is starting to set and it's starting to get a little bit chillier. There we go, that one is done. Couple of Axio, I think we already checked you earlier. What about you? Not shiny. So we got the last one we needed. April's community today, which was Togetic and if we get any of the, the classic mons that spawn at the end of the hour, then that's a bonus. But that is the last one that we needed for this first day. And it's took a while. It really has took a while. Didn't think I was going to get it. Checked so many Togetic and it just was not happening. Day one is complete. What we'll do is we'll get back to the car and we'll uh, complete the couple more stages of the research. So we need to evolve well, we, one, more, one more evolution. So let's just evolve something that we've just caught. What's going to be a cheap evolution? Starter, let's just evolve you. Okay, so we'll claim our Ultra Balls. We'll claim 1500 XP and we'll claim 1500 Stardust and another thousand Dust and a Poffin and another incense check out incense podcast new episodes drop every sunday okay so page three make three great curveball throws catch 15 pokemon featured during 2023 community days and transfer 15 that's going to give us a thousand dust a rocket radar and a thousand xp and have we done okay so we can claim our december community day evolution extravaganza get our king's rock and a magnetic lure and we'll claim page two of the research alolan sandshrew is our first encounter second encounter will give us the regular sandshrew encounter number tres stuffle and end of page two we will get an encounter with Togetic. I remember when Togetic used to be really, really difficult to catch, uh, but it is a community day slash weekend. Okay, so we've got a non-shiny Swinub. So for page three, we need to evolve two Pokemon. We need to catch five different species of Pokemon and transfer 10 for three more encounters, which will all be done in part two of this video, which is tomorrow. So it's Sunday, the mons that we are looking for today that will be boosted are seven of this year's Community Day Mons. So we're looking for Poliwag, Wooper, both versions, Timber, Axew, Froki, and of course, Grubbin as well. So they're the boosted Mons today. We still have, if I go into here, the Community Day Special Research. So we're on page three or four, that is completed. So we'll claim our Pineapps, we'll claim another Sinnoh Stone, which we're gonna delete, and we'll claim um what was that one that was an elite fast tm and we've also got a thousand xp a rocket radar and a thousand stardust which will take us to page four which 
is fantastically auto-completed. So we will claim Pineapps 1500 XP. That's going to be an Elite Charge TM. Yes, it is. And round out with 1000 Stardust. Three rare candy and 1500 XP. So that completes that one. We do, however, still have the timed research, which is encounter based. So we'll go through these three encounters now. A slow poke. Encounter number two will give us an, oh, a Galarian slow poke. So our third encounter for stage three is going to give us a sphil. And just before we get outside, our last encounter for stage three is a Fennekin. So moving on to page four, we have got a parable Pokemon seven times, catch five species of Pokemon and catch 15 Pokemon, featured during 2023 community days. That is all very easy. We've got a few checks here to see if there is anything that gives us sparkles. So we'll check all of these real quick. So we need to pop an incense, which we'll do there. Oh, there's a Froakie there. Don't know if I check that one. That one isn't shiny either. And uh, yes, Seven Mons is the target. So first up, we have got August's Community Day Mon. Froakie, Shiny Froakie, and oh, Savage, Red Ball, No Berry. Let's just hope this bad boy stays in. And there we go, first one is down. Six to go for today. And is it any good? It's two star, you know what, we'll take it. Let's just check that Grubbin. That's not shiny. Uh, Grubbin, no. Whooper, no. Quite possibly one of the best community days this year was Timber Community Day. That's our next shiny. October was this bad boy's release as a community day mon. And we did this one in Barcelona and it was a great day. We're going to go for the excellent throw and hope this one stays in. Timber, great shiny, great memories, great community day. And there we go, number two, two down already. And is that one any good? One star, it's not great. Axew, oh no. Now of course, September brought us Grubbin as a community today, and that is a gorgeous little reddish browny mon. Great little shiny. Three down, so, oh, don't run. Don't run. Bad throw, Never mind. One, two, three. Okay, so with three down, four to go, and we're doing pretty well so far are you any good no but you could enter a showcase rank five not good so we're very much out of order with second day's shinies but june i believe brought us the shiny axio and of course this is always the rollover from the go fest before so Next year we should be getting Gumi all being well. But there we go, Axu is caught. Next one on the list, and it's not great. Got a Poliwag there to check. That one isn't shiny. And, oh, whooper, no. So bonus shiny, September, we had a Community Day Classic for Charmander. And that's the bad boy that we've just caught here. Uh, last 10 minutes of each hour, we're getting the Classic spawns as well so Charmander is the first classic mon that we've caught that's shiny let's just have a quick look Swinub could that one be shiny no Marie no there's another Swinub there Charmander 2 no in July we had the Poliwag community today and that pretty much takes us almost there it's just the two Whoopers that are reluding me at the moment, but blue Pokemon, blue ball, them's the rules with the great throw. Not quite the excellent, but it should be enough to get the Poliwag in the bag. It is. So we just need the two Whoopers now. They have been quite elusive, although they are spawning in reasonably decent numbers. So two Whoopers, and then we can call this one a day. So we've got our second to last Pokemon, the shiny Whooper. This was November's community today, and there we go, that one is in the bag. So typically the bog standard whooper that spawns absolutely everywhere is the one that is big time trolling me. But never mind, we, oh, there's a few here we can check. Can we get a pink whooper out of this cluster of three, or oh, maybe four? No, 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 one more over there. Shine, no. Right, we've just got one more Mon to catch, which is the Whooper. But we do have some encounters here with former Community Day Mons. Dino being one. Oof, not a good throw. Next up, we have an encounter with a Poliwag. Third encounter, Zigzagoon. Remember that one from Chester. Sketchy signal. 
And the final reward from page four is, it's a Litwick. It's so moving into page five. It's getting quite repetitive. Catch five different species of Pokemon, transfer 10 and power up a Pokemon 10 times. We did it. We finally got the shiny Wooper, the pink little mon that's been eluding me for the last hour and a half. It's not taken overly long to get all seven that we needed today, but there we go. The last one that we needed, shiny Wooper. <laughs> So we have done all six stages of the December timed research and we've got a couple more encounters to go. First one is a Lowland Geodude. Second encounter gives us, oh, shiny timber. We'll take that 540 CP shiny timber. I was just saying in a clip that is not in this video because I didn't turn the screen recorder on that I didn't see any shinies from this uh, timed research or the uh, the ticketed research but we got one i'll take the shiny timber as well we'll definitely take that one okay bad throw really bad throw but one two three shiny timber is bagged let's just check its stats being the only shiny that we've got from this research okay it's three stars okay you know what we'll take it three more encounters left next up is the Wooper second to last encounter gives us the uh, Paldean Wooper. And we've got one more encounter left, which will be this bad boy, 2023 Dust, 2023 XP, and a shiny Froakie. Two shinies out of that last batch. We'll take that, 14 of 14 on the CP. And you know, we don't need to go blue ball because it's it's an encounter, we're gonna get it, but let's just colour code. We've got that little washed out blue frog, put it in a great ball, which is a blue ball. And that kind of just feels right, just feels right. Shiny Froakie is our last encounter, and that one, okay, that's okay. That is definitely okay, we'll take that. So there we go, over the course of this video, we have caught each and every one of the Community Day Mons, all 13 Pokemon that were released this year as Community Day Shines, of course, two months, had two variations in each but that is a review and recap of this year's community day pokemon so thank you very much for watching i'll be back next week with the weird ear uh, raid day which is uh, something i'm looking forward to on next saturday and i would just like to say thank you very much for watching if you are subscribed to this channel that really does mean a lot to me thank you so much it really means the world if you're not please consider hitting the subscribe button down below it's free it will not cost you anything and it really does help this channel to grow equally if you support this channel through patreon that means the world it allows me to do a little bit more with this channel than i would otherwise be able to do and that's pretty much going to do it i'll catch you in the next one if you want to watch another video click just over here and I'll see you next weekend for the Weird Ear Raid Day. Waterfall out.